Guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are your August 2015 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month, we're going to try something a little different. A viewer reached out and asked if I would start incorporating a color card with the monthlies as well, so we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a try. <laughs> Why not? All right, so the deck that I think I'm going to use for this month will be the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue, and then of course we will be pulling color cards from the Secret Language of Color Oracle Card deck by Anna Seagal. And if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. Please pay attention to the wait time as it will be fluctuating, and also please follow the instructions. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. So let's get to it. Hi there, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you for August 2015. A new dawn. Okay, great. Empowerment. Contemplation time. Okay. And stay optimistic. I'm going to give you guys a bonus card because I felt... Like I had to turn it over and look what was on the bottom. <laughs> so, and, and it, was, it just kind of happened. So we're going to go with it. <sighs> Thank you, guys. You get two bonus cards this month. Hang on. I'm going to show these to you later. Let's, let's save those to the end. Uh, they're good ones. Okay. So A New Dawn is the first card that comes up. It says the worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. And then we do have this stay optimistic card that comes in here. So <laughs> it's starting fresh. Things are, Now this could be kind of hard for some people because in order for something new to come in, the old has to go out. So if you're not real okay with change, this might be a little uncomfortable. But for most of us out there that would be okay with a new dawn, this is a good day, <laughs> or good month, I should say, all right? So the sun is rising on a whole new situation, which is going to be very empowering for you. It may not be what you think. It might be something, I mean, I've had things happen in the past couple of months that I did not see coming, and they were wonderful surprises. Things were not turning out the way that I thought. And uh, because I stayed open, I didn't miss those opportunities. They came, okay? wouldn't say I had any windfalls, per se, but just nice little synchronicities coming in. So the empowerment card says, you're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So go on out there and be you and claim this new beginning, a new dawn, okay? Don't let it just pass you by. Now, <laughs> we kind of get into this whole thing where this new dawn that pops up, it might rattle you a little bit because it might be different than what you always thought you wanted. And that's where this contemplation time card comes in. It says, spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. What do you really want? Because I can tell you right now what you guys are out there doing who are watching this. You're telling the universe or you t <laughs> through your brain, you're like, I want this, this, and this. But in your emotions, you feel like you only deserve this little bit over here. Okay? So the universe is going to give you, it's going to respond to your your energy and what you're putting out there. So if you think that you're somebody who's always going to have to struggle for money, you're always going to have to struggle for money. Whereas in your brain, you're always going, I want money, I want money, I want money, but you're not feeling it. You're not really putting it out there. Okay. So be careful about what you're asking for. Did I read this already? <laughs> so what happens when I get into these messages in case I didn't spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. Okay. So there's that. You got to be clear on what you want before you can pull it in. Right. So the next card we have is stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Just when you feel like you can't go any further, if one more darn thing happens, you can freak out, right? Um, it's saying, not yet. And why is that? Well, we had these other two cards that I was guided to pull out of the deck. <laughs> the first one is make a wish. And it says, this is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. You have a lot of beautiful energy surrounding you this month. You can, once you know what you want to wish for, put it out there to the universe. What you actually want, not what you've always convinced yourself that you want, and not what other people are telling you you should want. I remember a long time ago, I use this example all the time, but you know, people told me, oh, if you had a job at that one company, this big name company, oh, you've made it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the job, <laughs> but it was not what it, um, people would think. And 
it's actually a little crazy, right? So you have to make sure that it, you're not living your life according to someone else's standards and what they value, yeah? So the other card that I felt, because I, I, this was on the bottom of the deck, so I plucked this out and they said the next one, and here was the next one, the soulmate card, okay? New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. And look at what is on this card. It's not just, oh, you're being reunited with your soulmate. This is like DNA activation kind of stuff. This is like <laughs> you're getting zapped and kind of equipped to have some higher vibrational energy come through you and some wisdom. And I'm not even kidding you. I feel like, okay, the cool angel... Thank you. I feel the cool angel touch. I felt it right on the tip of my finger here. And then just as I was about to say something, I felt it across my cheek. Raziel's around me quite a bit because <laughs> I've been working with him and I'm going to work with him again in meditation this evening when I'm done here. But I just wanted to let you guys see that as well. So soulmate potential. Definitely soulmates do not need to be romantic. There, You don't just have one. Okay, there's lots of soul buddies that come in to help you learn your lessons and help you to carry on. Okay, so here we go. Your color card is, ooh, it's magenta. Connect to your deepest inner knowing. The number is five. Look how beautiful that is. I love magenta. Not everybody does, but I love magenta. And yeah, this is, yeah, your deepest knowing, which comes through this. You gotta get back in touch with you, is the bottom line. I mean, there's some fancy stuff coming in through here, but the bottom line is you have to get to know you. Don't just sit on the surface of life. Don't just worry about money. Don't just worry about being beautiful and getting attention. Get into you, okay? That is where all your real secret desires lie, and once you're clear on that, you can bring it in. And you have beautiful energy to do that this month, okay? So go enjoy, report back. Sending you love. Take care.